Okay, there's the problem sketched out. Here are my Lagrangians, and the top one is for the linear mechanics, the bottom one is for the rotational mechanics. My kinetic energy, rotational kinetic energy, gravitational potential energy. And I was getting nowhere with this until Dr. Makachek pointed out that I can add the number zero to this as many times as I want. What this does is it gives me a relationship between the linear and the angular. Now, x is r omega, so this is zero. But I can times it by some constant, doesn't matter what it is, because it's going to disappear later anyway. And so based on that equation there, in the middle of the screen, the big long one, del L by del V, I treat everything except V as a constant. I don't get omega in terms of V and x in terms of v. I don't do that. I keep everything other than v constant. So I get a very simple mv. Do the same for del L by del x, same for del L by del omega, same for del L by del theta. And then what I do is I take those top two equations that I've numbered 1 and 2, and I substitute into them. Rearrange 1 and 2. What have I done here? I've done d by dt of mv, d by dt of i omega. Well, m is constant, so dv by dt is just a, which is what we want. And for equation number two, because I've already used alpha for the angle, I can't use alpha for the angular acceleration. So I've just kept it as uh, theta double dot. I'm not keen on doing that, but it's perfectly fine. Now, if I get each of those in terms of uh, lambda, I can then equate them, which gives me that. Rearrange to get in terms of A. And the last thing I had to do is get rid of that theta double dot, the angular acceleration, and I, the, ang the moment of inertia. So there's my expression that relates angular acceleration to linear acceleration, my expression for the moment of inertia. Substitute. Rearrange, cancelly, 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 and the answer falls out.